Hey, what's going on, you guys? What's up, Aeronators? Welcome back to my channel where we react to music, but always did. Honestly, today we're gonna be checking out God7 You Calling My Name. It's a new song by this group. I haven't seen anything related to it, like no teasers, no song snippets, nothing. So, uh, this is gonna be the the most authentic first time reaction as it can get so let's check it out but before we jump in don't forget to follow me on instagram and if you want to see my exclusive reactions that i don't post on youtube for example bts front episodes bts bon voyage y16 all of that is on my patreon the link is down below You know, before we continue, just wanted to mention that this title definitely reminds me of a song by The Weeknd called um, Call Out My Name, and I'm a big fan of that one, so hopefully I'm gonna like this one as well. I know that the name of the song doesn't usually say anything about how good the actual song is going to be, but uh, anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so the guy who's singing right here, the one that's in the middle, and I'm sorry, I, I kind of forgot their names because it's been a long time since I reviewed a God7 song. He sounds very good. I, I'm enjoying his tone. And also, this shot itself, it looks like they're in outer space, there's no gravity acting on them, right? And they're just floating like this, and he's in the middle. This is really cool what they did here. I'm sure they're just, everyone's laying on the floor and he's doing this thing, but yeah, awesome, pretty creative. Uh. Uh. Wow, that's pretty cool. I actually pulled up their names so I don't keep saying this guy, that guy. I think it's a little more appropriate. So, in the middle, the one in the middle, I think it's Bam Bam, right? And I, that contrast between him rapping lower in his range and the other uh, other guys doing the higher notes that was pretty awesome. And overall, you know, I'm vibing with the with this beginning of the song. It's it's nice and chill, but at the same time, there's some background instruments and sounds that make it sound pretty full and powerful in a way, and I think the drop or the chorus is gonna be very big as well, so very excited to see that. Oh! No, for, forget everything that I said. I expected something way different than this, and I actually, wow, this, what they did here, this sudden change of pace of the song, it surprised me, and I like it this way better than what I expected in my head, you know? You know me, I like getting surprised. I like when uh, the producers do unexpected things like this in their songs, so, Great job here. The beat in this part was very powerful, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming. It's it's uh, spread out through the song very tastefully. It has a very interesting rhythm. I was like, oh yeah, probably right here we're gonna get some kind of drop, but no, they did something way cooler than that. So let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it once again. This song has a very, very interesting structure. I like these pauses where there's nothing, you know? No, no vocals, no background music, just breaks. It's very interesting. It's like, you know, when you go shopping for a perfume, you, after smelling something, one thing, you then 
take a sniff of coffee or something like that to kind of clear your senses or after trying some food or wine i don't know just tasting something you know not eating but tasting you take a drink of water so this is the the same feeling that i'm getting here it's like they wanted us to clear our heads of everything that came before this verse and then take a take a fresh listen at it if you know what i mean and regarding young jay here i i think that's his name he sounded very good i'm enjoying his voice i think he did a great job <laughs> Yeah. And you see, again, they're doing the same thing. They're going from a higher voice to a lower one, which creates a nice contrast between the two. Jackson sounded absolutely great here. And actually, I saw recently I saw an interview with James Gordon and him. They were doing a bunch of random things, you know, cooking something, playing soccer. So yeah, that video was pretty entertaining. If you want, you can go check it out. It's easy to find. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty cool run. Okay, so that run, it was nice. And yes, you can hear that auto-tune quality on it, but there's auto-tune everywhere. Like on every studio song, there's auto-tune because the producers always want the notes to be perfect, you know? So in this case, it's not... It's just the sound, it's like the sound effect of autotune that you're hearing there, if you will. And some might say like, oh, I don't like that, It's it sounds artificial, it sounds robotic, but me personally, I don't have anything wrong with that because I know that whoever was singing that part, that run, can do it live just as perfectly. So uh, in this case, it's just a stylistic choice. Guys, I love their outfits. I would really like to have something like that myself. I don't know where I would wear it, but uh, yeah, they look awesome nonetheless. You see there's black and red ones. I think I would go for a black one personally. I just like that color more, but yeah, everyone looks great. You're the reason for my life. If you're not here, I'm not here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed this nice little rap break, uh, an English rap break by Mark here for the bridge of the song. And I don't remember where he's from. Uh, maybe Australia? I can't quite remember. Definitely let me know in the comments, guys. But yeah, anyways, it was a nice uh, dip in the intensity of the song for the bridge here once again and probably after this we're gonna get an even more powerful last chorus Okay, so I love the fact that they didn't give it away to us right away, you know? They surprised me once again because um, if you remember, I mentioned that this chorus is probably going to be really powerful, but instead they begin it nice and gently, just like the, fir the first chorus, if you remember, and, and, and we were like, oh, what's happening here? But... But then, right, they, the song developed, the song kind of blossomed, just like how I predicted. So I'm digging these really cool musical decisions that are not really that prominent, but combined together, they make for an awesome song. Okay, 
so we had an awesome ending here now as I always do I'm gonna go back check out the lyrics for the song but uh, since I can't play the whole song in the video I'm only gonna be showing you little bits of it <laughs> Okay, lyric-wise, it's a pretty typical breakup song, so in this case, definitely the main focus for me was the music itself, you know, their voices, the background instruments, everything, everything was just so awesome, and so everything was fitted together very nicely. I loved the mixing, the mastering of the song, enjoyed the nice thick basses, they were kind of carrying the song. So yeah, overall very glad that I checked it out. I enjoyed it very much and now thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed this song. And if you did, then you know what to do now. You leave a like, you subscribe and you click the bell. I'll catch you all ever naters in my next video. Don't forget to check out my second channel with exclusive videos. The link is down below. And as always, take care, keep listening to great music and love.